our study on evil, and we've been looking at now uh, our eighth section of the judgment of God. We'll pick up verse, uh, verses, Numbers 11 through 15, Lord willing. We've been doing an exclusive list of the study of evil in the Bible. I'm going to say this each and every time as I know. This is a study you got to get all the videos, all the audios. Because we're looking at the cause and effect of evil. We've done the introduction, adjective, the bad deed, criminal and capital punishment. Good is evil, and evil is good, that's today. Good versus evil, the heart, innocent and innocent. And we're on the judgment of God now. And we're far from over. But the consequences of evil. Evil may or may not be a sin. Evil is the consequence of sin. And there are people who get in a consequence evil of sin and it don't have to be their sin. And there are people who get consequences of their sin evil. And right now we're looking at the judgment of God, consequences upon the sin of people and a person. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 9. Second Chronicles 20 verse 9 says, If when evil cometh upon us as sword, war, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house and thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and this is Solomon's temple, which is now long gone since 70 AD, the temple of God, and cry unto thee in our affliction, suffering, pain, and misery, then thou wilt hear. Now evil is described by Solomon as the sword, war, crime. Weapons, knife, guns, however a man could be killed, whether it be wars, battles, crime, murder, judgment, and that's a, that's a whole realm. Today in America, and September 10th, 2020, most of the west coast is on fire. When you look at a map in the pictures from California, most of California is on fire today. We had, uh, overnight, we just had a natural gas line in Florida burst into flames. We've had that explosion over in, near Israel, uh, I forget the name of the land. They're saying there's fires there now. This entire world is getting judgment. The time is coming close near to the rapture of the church. And God is not willing that any should perish. He's turning the heat up for men to repent. And they're not repenting. Pestilence. Diseases. COVID-19. Anthrax. Mad cow. Upset chicken. Bad pork. You name the disease, AIDS, famine, crop failure, no food, food's too expensive. You know, they say socialism is causing countries to not have food. No, sin. And maybe God is causing no food in the land. I mean, what do you do in India? And they have come please feed the starving children in India. You mean with all their gods running around the cows? They're starving and they got beef running around and they pretend it's grandma, grandpa, or mom, or, or anybody who has died and come back as beef. I wouldn't support them. Give up your gods and give up your religion and kill a cow and have hamburger.
Someone else I read the other day that you couldn't kill the animals because they're sacred. Then let you die with your gods and your god worship. If your religion has you to starve and you got food running around, the chastening or judgment of God, and their Solomon says if we repent, today, 2020, there is no call or very little call for repentance. And the more that men don't repent, the more the evil is going to come until the axe fall. And when God brings his battle axe, the devil, Then you're going to have the closest thing to hell on earth, the Antichrist. So evil is the sword, judgment, pestilence, and famine. Nehemiah 13, 18. Notice this is all coming out of a King James Bible. And if, when I'm reading a verse to you and I'm quoting a verse, and that verse does not look right in your Bible, Turn to the cover, and your your Bible does not say King James Bible, 1611. You've got the wrong Bible, plain and simple. Nehemiah 13, 18. Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring this bring all this evil upon us, and upon this city, Jerusalem? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. God had judged in the time of Jeremiah, Jerusalem, and Judah, and Babylon through God destroyed Judah and Jerusalem, destroyed the city, destroyed the temple. And Nehemiah is saying, listen, you guys are going to bring the same judgment by them, which is the Jewish, not following the Sabbath, that's not churchy. But what is Nehemiah saying about the judgment? It's from God. The loving God brings judgment. He'll bring war or sword, judgment, pestilence, diseases, or famine. It may be from God. It also may be from the devil. Job 1 and Job 2. Some people think some of the weather phenomenon are the government. I don't know. I don't care. So some evil comes from God. Psalms 7849. You say you believe the Bible? I believe the literal Bible more than any junk of book in the world. There's only one other book I believe that is not the King James Bible, and that's Children's Project. Followed by Babylon, Mystery Babylon, Two, two Babylons, Fox's Book of Martyrs, Clarence Larkin's book, Psalm 78 49. He cast upon them, in fierce and his anger, that's God, wrath indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. He's talking about the acts that happened in Exodus to the Egyptians. His anger. His wrath. God. Indignation and trouble by God sending evil angels which would be the devil's angels. This is recorded as to what God had done to the Egyptians in the book of Exodus. Though there's no evil angels mentioned in Exodus, we find it in the book of Psalms. And of course, again, these evil angels are of Satan's angels, not God's angels. For a further study for you to look at would be Matthew 25, 41. Revelation 12, 9. 2 Peter 2, 4, and Jude 6. Please don't ask me what chapter. 
So there are the devil's angels as evil out there. You say, are there evil angels today? Muslim, Catholics, uh, the Mormons, New Age, all presently profane to angel worship and angel sighting. That's not of God. And there is to be an angel. The only thing they can do today is have you go get a Christian like the angel that appeared before Cornelius. Because you gotta go get Peter. Plain and simple. No angel has any message or doctrine for you to follow. Angels can't preach the gospel. They don't know anything about the gospel. Proverbs 20, verse 8. A king that sitteth on the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Evil here is anything that is not good. People, places, and things. The king's authority is, if it's evil, what we're studying. If it's against God and the word of God. The king has the authority of God to say, it's got to go. Get rid of it. This is under the judgment for the king who has rightly to judge evil and good. And you would not walk up to a king and say, Judge not least should be judge. And of course, evidently, we're going to look at the righteous king of all the earth, king of all, God Almighty, and Jesus Christ. What is judged as evil goes away and is cast out, supposedly. In the United States, it is legalized to sin. Of course, we're not under a king, we're under a president. As far as the legalization of sin in America, and I don't know how far it's going to back, go back, and I don't care how far it goes back, but from the very first time, and whoever the president and the Supreme Court and all the judicial people of America has allowed sodomy, has allowed and legalized abortion, has allowed and legalized no God, Jesus Christ, in the Bible and prayer in school, has legalized and given to the commandments of the Constitution of the United States that all religion in America has freedom. Friend, the, the president, the vice president, the governors of the states, all the judicial judges of America, when those points have started, will be found guilty before God. And a sentence will be put forth. Evil is to be judged by the kings or by the rulers, and it is to be gotten rid of, not legalized. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14, our last one. We're not to legalize sin. We're to confess our sins, and he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And when we don't confess our sins, we're going to get the judgment, we're going to get the evil, we're going to get the consequences of those sins. And if God does not pass the evil and the judgment and the consequences upon sin, God will have to apologize to Nineveh. God will have to apologize to Babylon. God will have to apologize to Adolf Hitler. God will have to apologize to Israel North. God will have to apologize to Judah South. God will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring cities. And God is not going to apologize. Ecclesiastes 
Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment. Ooh, every work. Every work. All your thoughts. Every idle, every idle word shall man give an account thereof. Everything your eyes saw. Everything your ears have heard. Everything that your tongue has tasted. Everything your mouth has spoken and your tongue has, has spoken. Every, everywhere your feet has gone. For God, Ecclesiastes 12, 14, God shall bring every work into judgment. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place. Behold the evil and the good. It's all going to be before the judge of all the judges of all God and Jesus Christ. Now you may have gotten away with it. You may have bribed your way of it in the world today. You will not be for God. Because God will bring every work into judgment. What happened to Jimmy Hoffa? God knows, and God will take care of whatever guiltiness of Jimmy Hoffa. Whatever happened to Amelia Earnhardt? God knows. They have, uh, it was a good television program, Unsolved Mysteries. God knows the solution to all those mysteries. The FBI has, I think, ten, the 10 most wanted people. God knows where those people are. Well, this person was in jail wrongfully. God knows. That man belonged in prison. God knows. God knows a judge that sits on the bench. Is he innocent or guilty himself? Ecclesiastes 12, 14, for God shall bring every work into judgment, every secret thing. God will open the doors to the skeleton in your closet. You may have fooled your mom and dad. You may have fooled your spouse. You may have, your children never knew, your boss never knew, your co-workers never knew, your pastor, your priest never knew, but God knows. And don't think God is Santa Claus and he'll still bring you presents on December 25th. He just won't bring no, God ain't Santa Claus. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. The judgment of God, whether the judgment seat of Christ for Christians or the great white throne judgment for the church age people who are lost. Who have rejected Jesus Christ. And for the Old Testament. The judgment seat of Christ. For those name in the, in the book of life. Or not in the, in the book of life. Everything we don't know about Samson. Everything we don't know about King Saul. Everything we never heard about Bathsheba. Everything we weren't told about Adam and Eve. Everything that David. Everything of Abraham. Everything of Isaac. Everything of Stiley Hayward. Today. Will be brought out. Except for, for Stiley Hayward. In 2020. If it's under the blood of Jesus Christ, it is never going to come back. God erased it under the blood of Jesus Christ. That which is not under the blood will come forth, whether it be evil, whether it be good. So either judgment, God will judge the good and the evil. And the good and evil will be judged by a holy and righteous God. Did you go to jail and you weren't supposed to go to jail? God will handle it out. Did you not go to jail and supposed to go to jail? God will handle it out. I remember one, one of the first few times I, when I did prison ministry. And it was very, one of the first few times I, my mess, one of my messages was. And man, I was, I was going to knock him dead with this message. And one of the points was the, was the message. I'm, I'm talking to a, a room full of criminals. They're in jail. 
And here we go. I'm going to say, who in this room is innocent and not guilty? Every single hand went up. I was not expecting that. You say, were they all innocent? I doubt it. Was there somebody innocent? God knows. God knows. I know one thing that God knows that the Bible tells us. All have sinned and come short of glory of God. So there's no one but Jesus Christ who's innocent. The judgment seat of Christ, wood, hay, or stubble, will be tried by fire and will burn up and be a lost reward. But the Christian he himself will be saved. What is the evil for the Christian of wood, hay, and stubble? Ashes, smoke detectors. That's an evil consequence for the Christian living for the world himself and the devil. You get no reward. At the great white throne judgment of works against Christ. In the book of life, if your name is not in that book of life. Notice it doesn't say Lamb's book of life. Revelation 20 says the book of life. If your name is not in that book, you go off in the lake of fire. That's your evil consequence. Again, further studies, 1 Corinthians 3, 12 through 15, and then the entire chapter of Revelation chapter 20. So with evil, what we're looking at today, we've got the sword, death. We've got judgment. We've got pestilence. That's around us right now today. And we got famine. And it's the chastening of God to get a man to repent. And we have evil that is from God. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to say it, I'll sign my name to it. I believe COVID-19, I believe the fires that are on the West Coast, I believe all these hurricanes are of God. God is trying to get you to repent. God is trying to get you right. But the world ain't listening. We have evil devil's angels. And they're running around and they're starting religions and they're promoting people against God and the truth. And we've got judge, we got evil that is to be judged by kings and gotten rid of. And then we got God will judge every evil and good thing. 